dear rebounding friends. Happy to be back. I hope you had a fantastic time. I had a great time in Europe uh, with a lot of rebounding and uh, I'm happy to see you again. Today we concentrate again on the theme of the joints and we will look at the joints of the lower body, specifically the ankles, the knees and the hips. And our aim is to give you exercises which lubricate the joints and with, which strengthen them. And let's just go immediately in our first exercise. So let's directly go into the movement of our lower joints. And Joanna, if you could lay down, please, on the rebounder. And we start with the ankles and we take one of the ankles in our hand and with the other one we move gently the ankle in one direction mm -hmm. and then softly in the other direction great and then the other ankle and just freeing up any tension which might be in there and the other direction okay and then we put the legs up over our head and now we move by themselves the ankles by just rotating them. Exactly in the other direction. Okay, great. Okay, now we go to the knees and in fact you know that exercise it's bicycle riding. So just move the legs as if you were on a bicycle. And you can do that as long as it feels comfortable for you. And in the other direction. That gives a nice smooth movement in the joints of the knees and nourish the cartilage. Okay, thank you. And now an exercise for the hip joints. We take one leg. The other one you see like Joanna is doing it. She has the foot placed on the edge of the rebounder. And with the both hands you take the knee and you move the hip joint, steering the pot. And the movement is generated by the hands so that the hips can really relax into it and then the other way around all these exercises you can do as long as it feels comfortable we now do it quickly so that we can show you all the different movements okay and then change the leg please yep first inside movement and breathing Relaxing, feeling the movement going through your body, the relaxation going through your body. And then the other way around. Great, thank you. So now we do exercises in standing on the rebounder and we start with activating the ankles of our feet. So first you have one foot, one of your feet yeah, one of your feet is the standing feet, the stable feet, and the other one is the play foot. And with the play foot, we bring the toe up till the highest point and then down four times. Up and up and up and up. And you imagine as if you have a, a glue on the big toe. I'm just coming closer that you can see that. Okay as if you have glue, so you're not leaving the mat. Up and up and up, okay? And then the other foot. Up, up, up and up, okay? That's great. Now we go to the knees and we come down a bit in a position like Joanna is doing it now and we are bringing the knees inward, nicely rotating them inward. And you can really imagine that you lubrify now the knees. Great. So that the cartilage is really nourished. And then the other direction, please. Okay, perfect. 
Perfect. Thank you. And then we come in a standing position again. And we are working now on the hips. And we're doing a nice hula hoop. Do you remember that? Probably you had hula hoops when you were, you were younger. It's a great movement for the hips. Nice round movement. And then the other direction. And also here you can do the exercises as long as you wish. And as it feels good. Okay. And we come back. Now we do a second exercise for our hip joints. That's called the twist. And we prepare the twist in choosing one leg as the standing leg. Um, Diana, you take now the left leg as your standing leg. And we root the leg into the earth. You just imagine you get under your, under your feet. You get real, really deep roots into the earth and you stabilize this leg. Now what is very important is that you stabilize it in a way that also you don't prone it. And I'm by purpose coming forward to see Jana is standing very nicely now, not pronating. Can you just pronate for a moment that I see the difference? Okay, that is pronating. Now it's very important that this leg stays stable during the whole movement because it will give us the possibility to have the other leg completely free. And in order to be sure that you're not pronating, put a little bit more of the weight on the outside of the heel. Okay, and then from there we free the other leg and we come in a rotation of the hip. Great, exactly. In, out, in, out, in, out. Exactly. Perfect. And then we switch the legs and now take a little moment again to root the standing leg nicely into the earth. Feel the strength, put a little bit more on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the weight on the outside of the heel and then free the other leg and come in a rotation. Perfect. Exactly. Great. And now come to a standstill again. And now, oh yeah, I want, what I need to say also is that it is very important that the standing leg always looks forward, you know, that you are not uh, moving this leg, the knee for instance. Can you just try to move the knee while you're doing the other thing? Yeah, exactly. See, that should not, that should not be, because, uh, because as your foot is standing straight, and if then the knee is moving, you can really hurt yourself. So the knee always needs to, to look forward, directly forward, like uh, in the car, you know, the lights in the car, it's shining forward while the other one is moving, so that's good. And now we put both feet together and we're doing the, um, the movement with both, both feet, the twisting, like when you're dancing. Twist, 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 twist. What is the song again? Twist and shout. Come on, baby, <laughs> let's do the twist. Come on, baby. <laughs> Let's do the twist. Yeah, that's it. Woo! Do, 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 and it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, good. That's for today. Have fun. Bye.